All right, we're out here at the Ohio State Coaches Convention. We got Joey McKenna here, returning All-American for Ohio State. Um, Joey just showed some great technique to all the coaches out here. Uh, Joey, I was just talking to you. I think something that you show very clearly in your wrestle, in, in, in your wrestling, is that you don't let a lot of things bother you. You're really cool as ice, whether it's a big match, a small match, um, you're ahead, you're down, you're, you're focused on some very specific things when you wrestle. What would you say that those things are that keep you so calm? Yeah, I think just historically, I've always been a pretty methodical wrestler, so I've always just kind of been focused on my position and whatnot. Um, going into matches, though, I've always kind of dealt with nerves and anxiety, I think, that most competitors do. But um, this year for me, actually, when I, came, when I came to Ohio State, a lot of that started to switch because I see a, a version of Joey McKenna in practice that I want to translate onto the mat. And... You know, with the help of Tervell and Tom and guys like Kyle, Nate, Miles, you know, just guys on the team, just the people I'm surrounding myself with, they've helped me kind of adopt the mentality of just just try and go out there and score points and don't let circumstances define you. I mean, we all undergo the same things when we go into a match. We're going to undergo stress. We're going to undergo anxiety. We're going to undergo uncertainty. You know, you take a shot and this guy reacts a way different way than you're expected to. So for me, a big way to calm all that down before I go onto the mat, um, as in whenever I, I throw my anklets on, I look up and I just say, all right, God, let's do this thing. And for me, it takes a lot of my nerves away and, you know, it puts everything in his hands. It always is. And for me, that's been a way that I can kind of just separate those things from me out there as a competitor and then basically the uncontrollables. For sure. So something that you mentioned that I've noticed over the last couple of years is I've like been around a lot of great programs and really put a close eye into Ohio State, Penn State, is faith is a very important part of not just the coaches but top to bottom on the team. What would you say is the impact of faith in your wrestling and as a team culture? And I'll, I'll say that with one caveat. Um, I think when People can put God first, wrestling is not. So that's when wrestling becomes a little more fun because you got you have your faith first, your family, and then after that, wrestling's third or fourth on that list. So with that in mind, what do you think is the impact of faith on your wrestling and on your team's culture? Um, I mean, for us, it's the foundation. When I came to Ohio State, I knew Tom was a big believer, Kyle, obviously, and you know I've always believed in God, and then I really started my walk here. Um, where I really started expanding and learning more and really becoming a follower of Christ. And yeah, like you said, I mean, it just, it takes a lot of all the things that we take in our daily lives on ourselves. It kind of takes it away a little bit. And, you know, I guess you could call it an outlet, but I mean, it's, it's truth. So the only thing that I'm getting from it is that I believe in something way bigger than myself and it allows me to go out there and try to glorify him through the abilities that he's given me. And that's the way I feel when I go out on the wrestling mat. That's why every time I strap those anklets on, I look up and I say, all right, let's do this thing. Because, you know, I know that he's the one that gives me the strength and the honor to go out there and compete and wrestle my hardest, win or lose. So for those of you listening, something to take away, you know, to wrap that up is, Essentially, your purpose needs to be bigger than yourself, and it needs to be bigger than winning. When your purpose is bigger than yourself and bigger than winning, that's when you're allowed. That's when you can compete without the same amount of stress that you might have before. So, coaches and then wrestlers definitely think of that. Thank you, Joey. Best of luck this year. No problem.